that's totally fine to not be productive. I feel like in this situation, it's like a f- crazy once in a lifetime global struggle. Like, sorry if I can't f- write a new song today or do whatever the f- I'm trying to do. Like, this f- is insane. Totally yeah. normal to just like have to chill sometimes when you feel inspired and you feel creative again which you will because it always yeah. happens like that then you'll do what you have to do can't rush it can't rush it the remix album from thousand gex and the tree of clues tree of clues what can fans expect from this project what are fans going to be walking into fans are going to be walking into a Recontextualization of <laughs> a primordial soup of creative energy <laughs> from none um, other than 100 guys. Familiar songs with new and interesting twists with artists they may have heard already. Remixes, some new songs, some tiny tunes, some very cool art. It's like interesting doing this now because we did like the first album remotely and shit, and now we're doing like the remix album and all the content for it remotely with like way more people we're inviting in outside forces into our our world our comics universe all working remotely all working remotely yeah true yeah. which we're no stranger to with all this like time to f- chill at home have you been um able to like make shit or i mean I'm definitely using this time to recenter my head and, you know, yeah. get back to what it is we were doing, you know, a year ago. Yeah. And trying to get, you know, in a good a good headspace for for working and writing and, you know, I think it's been really good in in a way cuz I'm just looking at it fresh now, writing a song about ratatouille and just bringing it, bringing it back, you know? Back to the basics. Yeah, back to the basics. It's all, it's easy to get all wrapped up in your head and there's a thousand things happening and you never know what the is going on and there's happening outside. And then you just say, hey, I just want to write a song about a rat who cooks. And then everything seems a little bit easier so i think it's been a a reset that's been feeling pretty good to me i've been making a lot of um silly songs <laughs> haven't been doing too many pop bangers yet but try to get into that headspace soon i'm trying to balance and not not beat myself up too hard if every day i'm not writing a fucking banger which has been that's i feel like that's like always a problem with me uh i'm like really happy when I'm writing really good shit and I'm really not happy when I am not doing that. I got really down on myself and you know, and then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take a day and I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing and it felt good. And I was like, maybe I don't have to be doing this constantly all the time and putting pressure that's undue. Before lockdown, we were getting ready to kick off the Tree of Clues world tour. At what point did you realize it needed to be put on hold? It just seems like there's no reason to for people to be, you know, risking their safety to come to one of our shows. We can reschedule, you know, it'll be fine. But the, the greater risk is, I think, worth uh, putting it off. Probably thought that it was going to be canceled when Coachella got moved. They're moved. Yeah. I mean, that that was like you know, the biggest president, yeah. I guess, that was set. And then we were cool. like, but yeah, I mean, you know, everyone will come out, it'll be cool. Um, we'll have lots of energy and be really amped to go out on tour. So it'll be, yeah. it'll be, it'll be sick. Yeah, super stoked to get this out. We've had, been working on this for a while. It's gonna be fun to see, see it in the real world with all the visuals and stuff, components. Yeah, excited to, to figure out working it into the live stuff and yeah. and making people pee their pants in the yeah. good way. 